Are you like me a few years ago and struggling to get good skin tones in your video? Well, here's a quick tip that I wish I learned sooner. Okay, now this video is already assuming that you've exposed your subject properly in camera and that you've tried to set a nice neutral white balance. You're just struggling to find the exact right skin tone. So we've got our clip already in Premiere and it looks something like this. Now I've got this clip already adjusted. I've done a little bit of the white balance. I've done a little bit of highlight and shadow adjustment. I've got my uh, LUT applied as well. Now the next thing I wanna do to make sure my skin tone is absolutely perfect is open my vector scope, this little round boy here. I'm going to isolate a patch of skin, hopefully one that is facing or is lit by our light source that we like to match. And we isolate that and we look at our vector scope and boy, What's this little line here? Well, it is the skin tone line. Light, dark skin, any skin, it really does fall right along that line, long story short. So what we do is we take this little eyedropper tool and we pick a point on the skin and it gives us these three little dots. And what happens when we move these little dots? The little line moves on our vector scope and we can actually see the skin is adjusting color as well. So we can make aliens or we can make um, a, a Marvel character of some kind. But what we're gonna do is just try to line it up as best we can to fall right on that line. Once we've gone ahead and do done, once we've gone ahead and done that, we're gonna come up here, delete our mask, come back. That looks nice and neutral. Beautiful. I'm gonna try one more clip here, just as an example. Again, same kind of thing. I've got this clip of this lovely model here, and we've already gone ahead and done a little bit of our regular adjustments, and we just wanna nail that skin tone. I'm gonna clip her forehead here, because it's a nice open patch of skin, and we come down here to our hue versus hue. Boom, give us these little dots here. This one, again, I, I did a decent job matching everything in camera, so it's looking pretty good. Nothing massive to do there. Delete our mask, beautiful. This is the before and after. There you go, bada bing, bada boom. So once you've finished doing your adjustments, you go to your color grade and just take the, take the video away from there. So hopefully this was helpful. Um, either way, bye.